Hi friends, welcome to my Learning Points YouTube channel. Today we will discuss about how to connect MySQL database with PHP. We know that PHP is server-side language. To run PHP, we need one server. In my system, I already installed the server in my local computer. I already discussed about how to install server in your local computer. You will get that link in the description section of this video. So let's start how to connect MySQL database with PHP. So localhost PHP my admin. This is my database link. We can access database by providing correct username and password. So here in dashboard you can see this menu and dashboard SQL status many things and you can see there is a database server option and a web server option and PHP admin you can see the server type that is MySQL and the PHP extension MySQL I curl MST and PHP version 7.2.24 so now we are going to create database two way we can create by using uh, our SQL statement or we can write we can create database manual from UI so here we will create one database the database query is very simple suppose i am creating database my database name is tutorial you can select a collection as your preference but by default i am not selecting any and uh, by uh, i am using default one so now our database is created the database name is tutorial we can create table also so first I will try to connect with our database so using PHP we are going to create a connect the database so I am creating index.php and this simple one first we need to uh, create an object of default MySQLI so just we are creating object suppose con con is a connection object I am you can write your name any name I am using con so the, there MySQLI is the class name and uh, to create object we, we need to use the new operator and this MySQLI functions will take four parameters first server name second username third password password is your database password uh, username also use database username and the last the DB name means database name so so I am declaring the four variables we need to send value to this function so here my server name is localhost my username is root my password sorry my password is also root for local in our local system my username password is both the same this is root root and db name the db name what i just created that is the tutorial so the four variable we have declared and we are using in mysqli function and here dollar con is our database object so using this object we can call function first two things we need to know we need to check whether database is successfully connected or it is getting some error so first we need to check my database connection successfully 
connected or have error so I am calling the function connect error so connect error is the mysql array function and we are calling this function with our created object so if any connection error found this will call so I am writing statement connection error otherwise it will echo connection successful connection successful so we are trying to run this this is our tutorial database and we are going to run this this is connection successful so we will check one thing suppose if I write some wrong things means I try to generate the connection error function so if we run this that will say connection error the die statement is the termination function so means when the die will run the program will stop there so we are successfully connected our database with PHP so I will try to add one table in our database and I will try to fetch some records from that database so our database name is tutorial I try to create one table that is very simply why the create table I am using the student table okay and the column is 4 no problem on that okay I will just for example I am taking three columns so here I am setting ID as integer and it is auto increment and primary key so the first name first name and the last name that's all first name and last name as it is a bear care bear care 255 and it also bear care 255 and saving this so here we can see in our database one table is created that is student table so I am going to insert some data manually I, I, I will just try to fetch data from PHP so I am using the student one student ok and F name one L name one F name two for second record F name two and ln2 okay so if we go then insert it row 2 so if we browse we can see there is two records in the student table so now I am going to fetch this record using the PHP okay So I am using just simple uh, to separate from the previous text ok to fetch record from student table we need to write a query to select star from table is the query so we need to write in our PHP so I am declaring a variable SQL and I am writing select star from the table name is student so this is our query now I am going to run this query so I am storing our result in result variable and we need to call each function with our defined object that is con query 
uh, we need to pass the SQL so in result variable all the query result will store so now to display the resulted output we need to print the result as a result format will appear as an array for that reason here echo will not work we need to print the array so how to print array the print array is the syntax to print array so we are going to print result result and i want to fetch all so the sql function i need to call the fetch all function okay to display it properly we need to use pre pre is the html syntax we can write an echo also so if we run this so we can get all records from student now let's see what happened so here here we can see 0 and 1 there is two element though there is two rows and here are the two two array inside the one array and we can see the f name 1 l name 1 f name 2 l name 2 and we are getting this accordingly so here is the output we can see how to fetch this so friends now we can understand how to connect mysql database with php how to create database how to create table and how to fetch data from table and print those records so please try it on your own pc if you find any problem please comment in this video you can write your queries i will try to explain your query in our upcoming videos hope you understand this tutorial if you got any help from this video please like and subscribe my channel you will get all upcoming videos thank you